Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today, for our number talk, we are looking at the fraction 20 39ths and deciding whether it is more or less than one half. We want to use mental math, which means we don't want to use cross multiplication or convert both of these to decimals to compare. So, how can we figure this out? Well, one way to think about this is to think about that one half. And when we double one half, we know that two halves make a whole. In this case, it's going to be two halves, right? We know that equals one. So my question is, what happens if we double 20 39ths? So that means I'm simply going to either multiply it by two. In this case, I'm just going to add it to itself. But remember, when we're adding fractions, we first need to make sure that the denominator is the same, because that gives us the same unit. And then we simply keep the denominator the same. We're not adding 39 to 39. That's simply the unit that we're using. I've got 20 39ths and another 20 39ths. So 20 and 20 is going to make 40 39ths. So take a look at that. 40 39ths is going to be greater than 1, because we know that one whole, if we wanted to do that with a denominator of 39, would be 39. 39ths, right? As long as you have the same numerator and denominator, it's equal to one whole. So my 40 39ths is going to be a little bit bigger than that, which means I'm thinking that my 20 39ths is going to be a little bit bigger than one half, because when I doubled one half, I went to one whole. When I doubled 20 39ths, I got just a little bit bigger than one whole. So I'm thinking my 20 39ths is going to be larger. Now, what's a different way to think about this? Well, we could think about trying to make this fraction equal to one half. Now, it's going to be hard because take a look at my denominator. It's odd. But what happens if I have fractions right next to it? Okay, so let's say I've got fractions with these three denominators and I want to make them all one half. Well, 40 is going to be easy, right? We know that's going to be 20 over 40. I just take half of 40. Half of 38 might be a little bit more difficult. But if you do it, it's going to be just one less. It's going to be 19. 19 and 19 make 38. So 39 sits right between 38 and 40. So half of 39 is going to sit right between 19 and 20. But what number sits between 19 and 20? Well, that's where we need decimals, right? We need 19 and 5 tenths, or 19 and a half. So let's look at it this way. Half of 39 is going to be 19 and a half or 19.5. So compare that with 20, and definitely 20 is bigger. It's a whole half bigger, a 0.5 bigger. So either way you look at it, we can say with certainty that 20 39ths is more or greater than one half.